everyone! For today's video, we will be discussing how to perform a bimanual pelvic examination and rectovaginal exam. For the materials needed, we need gloves, lubricant, and a pelvic dummy or an alternative. Before the procedure, introduce yourself, obtain consent, and explain to the patient that you will be inserting two fingers into the vagina to assess her internal pelvic organs. The procedure itself is not painful but it may be uncomfortable. Place the patient in a dorsal lithotomy position with her buttocks at the edge of the examining table. Make sure that the patient has voided prior to the procedure. Observe septic technique by putting on gloves. Remember the mnemonic iQuad to guide us in this procedure. I stands for introitus and includes inspection of the external surface of the vagina, including the mons pubis, labia majora, labia minora, and the perineal body. Observe the introitus and note if the hymen is intact, imperforate or open, and whether the cranium gapes or remains closed in the lithotomy position. Also observe the perianal area for hemorrhoids, sphincter injury, warts, and other lesions. Palpate the posterior third of the labia majora, placing the index finger inside the introitus and the thumb on the outside of the labium to check for the Bartholin's glands. With a gloved hand, hold the labia apart. Inspect the opening of the vagina and evaluate for pelvic organ prolapse by asking the patient to cuff. Put lubricant on the index and middle fingers. Introduce the lubricated fingers into the vagina, directing them posteriorly. The thumb should be pointing up or folded under to minimize discomfort for the patient. C stands for cervix and includes evaluation of the position, architecture, consistency, and tenderness, especially the mobility of the cervix. Test the strength of the perineum by pressing downward on the perineum and asking the patient to bear down. U stands for uterus. The opposite hand is placed on the patient's abdomen. Press on the infra-umbilical area to elevate the uterus by pressing up on the cervix and delivering the uterus to the abdominal hand. A stands for adnexa. Examine it by placing the vaginal finger in the right lateral fornix and the abdominal hand is placed just medial to the right anterior superior iliac spine. The two hands are brought as close together as possible. Outline the adnexa and note for tenderness, masses, and mobility. Palpate the left adnexal region by repeating the technique. Withdraw the middle finger from the vagina and insert into the anal canal while the index finger remains in the vagina. Evaluate the tone of the external sphincter muscle, tenderness, tumor, irregularities, fixation, or mobility in the rectovaginal septum and rectum. Remove and examine both fingers for blood, purulent material, and other alterations in the vaginal discharge and stool. Properly annotate the findings. That's it for this video and thank you so much for watching. 